I'm Kylie, and we're in the Middle Township Middle School 6th grade experience. I think it's fun because you get to hang out with your friends, and you get to go away from school for a few days and enjoy the outdoors. And we have also these fun activities, and we got pictures taken with our um, people in our group. And it's a lot of fun. <laughs> what I like best about the camping trip is being with your friends and like, like being at school. <laughs> Hi, I'm Regan. I'm Sophia. And we're at the Middle Township Bell Plain um, camping trip. Um, I think it's really fun because canoeing and roasting marshmallows and hanging out with your friends. And the cabins are great. I have a lean too. And, um, there's no beds, but there's a heater, which is great, and they're really comfortable. And I've just, I was just making a um, banana sundae, which was actually really fun and great. So. Over here. My girls, let's go. Miss Huntsinker. Once the body part in, it opens the door. Okay. And once the last, once the body part goes out of it, it shuts it, and no one else can use this. I'm so proud. Yeah. <laughs> right, come on. No, I think so. Yeah, you're good. Hi, my name is Dave Pearl. I'm a sixth grade teacher at Middle Township Middle School. Once again, we are out in the woods with our sixth grade outdoor learning experience. We have done this for over ten years, and this is my second year running the program along with my co-director, Ms. Tracy Reynolds. Basically, we have the children come out here for three days and two nights. They study four different habitat studies, the pond, the bog, the forest, and the field. In addition to that, we do a challenge activity where children are working together as a team. In addition to that, we have choice activities where the children get to choose something that they're interested in, whether it be hiking, could be camping, I mean campfire cooking, could be canoeing, archery, and they spend two hours in that activity. So basically it's students coming out, learning from each other, learning from their teachers, learning from their parents, how to get along with each other and achieve goals. <laughs> Hi, my name is Miss Stiles. I have been working with the sixth grade outdoor educational experience for 10 years. I do the pond activity, I do various night activities. I've been staying overnight both weeks for most of that time. Um, I think this trip is awesome because it's a great rapport builder between the teachers and the kids. Everybody see nitrates? Mm -hmm. On your table? Okay, good. I want you to write 0 0.5. Where? Right where it says nitrates. You see it? My name is Corey Carlson. Um, I have a sixth grader here, 12 year old. Um, they're out camping for the week. I had a daughter who was here two years ago. And it's a great experience for the kids. They get to come out and experience fishing and how to use a compass and uh, a lot of other great things and uh, hang out with kids that they don't usually get to spend time with in school. And uh, it's really a great opportunity for these kids to come out here. Okay, keep, going. keep just keep doing that. Well, you can't leave it in the water, you're not fishing. You're not fishing. There you go. <laughs> Are you getting cereal? That's right. You know? Have syrup in my Hi, my name is Dan and um, Bell playing is really fun and um, fun activities in the field. Hi, I'm Drew. I love bell playing. I think everybody should come and um, experience it. Hi, I'm Romeo, and bell playing is, has the best dinner and breakfast and lunch and that's it. Okay, my name's Dave Moyer. I'm the shop teacher at Middle Township Middle School. Uh, we are offering archery as one of our activities for our students. Now, for several reasons, this is uh, an extremely beneficial activity for them. They can carry this throughout their life. It provides challenges. Um, 
Uh, we give them a chance to succeed in, uh, even in small increments. So they always can grow and learn in this activity. Uh, we have several targets set up. Uh, this could be, this kind of uh, gives you the impression of you know, hunting animals, but archery is not only for hunting animals, but they can also just do it as a uh, an activity where they they uh, do target practice or get into tournaments. Uh, our own uh, Land Community College has an archery program that is one, number one in the nation, uh, as far as I know. Um, so that's what we're we're providing. We we want to offer the, from the most basic. To more advanced archery, uh, archery, you know, bows and things that they can use, so they they can get a chance to grow from the basic stick bow to maybe a recurve bow, and then move up into a compound bow. And as I said before, uh, they don't have to go hunting to enjoy archery. There's there's plenty of places like the Cape May County Archery Association that has tournaments and you just go down and just shoot and there's and you can carry that through other areas in in our county and outside our county just grab the bobber today we're doing the fitness trail it was created by an Eagle Scout. There are 12 challenges that the children have to participate in. Each of them requires them working together as a team once again to achieve a goal. There are 12 different rotations. We break the 100 kids up into 12 different groups. They work together, solve a goal, and then after 10 minutes they move on to the next rotation. And they do it 12 times until they reach each challenge activity. After that, we're going to head to lunch, say our goodbyes, and then we're on the buses and we're back to Middle Town. Oh, I found the shots. Hi, my name is Melissa Lomax, and my daughter is in sixth grade at Middle Township Middle School, and we are enjoying the middle school experience here together. I am chaperoning at night, so I am spending in the lean-to and today we learned how to cook on an open fire um, and make some yummy food that we can survive on out in the woods um, and it's just been a wonderful experience the teachers have been so helpful and informative and very patient to give the children this experience out at Belle Plain State Forest <laughs> Don't tell me that to go forward because you have to let me keep close and down you go, all right? All right. Nice and well. Ready to fall. Here we go. Ready to fall. Ready to catch. Falling. Catch it. Go, go. Go. Great job. Good job. I'm sorry. All right. Sarah, you're up. Um, as I said before, we've done this for over 10 years. It's been very successful. In addition to that, it's the first time that many of our students are away from home overnight. So a lot of children are um, apprehensive. They come to me in the middle of the night saying, Mr. Farrar, I want to go home. Can you call my parents? But what I do, I um, call their parents. I let them talk to their parents. Their parents are able to calm them down, let them know that, hey, we're only 20, 25 minutes away. If you're still feeling um, anxiety within an hour or a half an hour, we'll come get you. Nine times out of ten, the children go back to their groups and they're having fun. They just want to know that their parents are there if they need them. It's a wonderful place that children, as well as their parents, are discovering Bell Plain State Park. It's a wonderful venue for family events, for team events, and right now for school events. So we would advise anyone to come out here and have a good time to extend this program.